Hey guys, I wanted to jump on here and give you a quick note about what I've seen going on. A little bit of a warning. I'm gonna say two warnings for when you're looking through the marketplace looking for properties to buy. Uh, so quick, go ahead and hit the subscribe button, like the video so that it can help the algorithm. I wanna get as much exposure as I can get for me and the game, uh, because the more people that get involved in the game, the more likely it is to take, come to fruition, to follow the project lines that they've laid forth to actually be a good development and our properties can go up in value that way and it'll be a fun game that we can play. So what I've seen going on in the marketplace is that people are manipulating prices of properties. So what you'll see is you'll go in there and you'll see a property is worth like two or three dollars a tile. But the reality is that country is only worth 10 or 12 cents a tile. And what they've done is they have transferred tiles to another account that they own or to a friend, or they've just gotten somebody to buy a one-off tile for a couple dollars, which temporarily spikes the prices in that area. Then when you go into marketplace, you see, oh, this tile's 80% off or this tile's 50% off. And you see that there's a deep reduction and you think you're getting a great value. But the reality is that tile will quickly snap back to the lower value of 10 or 12 cents, meaning that you overpaid for it. And so now, now, luckily, there's a market analysis button in the marketplace that you can click on to see what the trend has been in that country. You can go into that country and see if it's spiking uh, and then dropping right back down and know that there's probably some manipulation there. Uh, countries that have had more tiles sold are less likely and less easily manipulated. So to avoid this, you need to do your research, make sure that you're not buying overpriced tiles and buy in countries that you know have sold a lot of tiles if you're, if you're concerned and can't figure out how to do that. Uh, the second thing is, a, is something I mentioned in another video that's still working on being uploaded with my poor internet, uh, but it's a scam where in the title they will say that it's class one land, but in the actual class column you'll see that it's class two or three. And so make sure that if they're listed as class one in the title that you go and double check. The title really doesn't mean anything. You can edit it to anything that you mean. And actually, I'm going to throw in a third warning there just because of that uh, triggered my thoughts as to what I'd seen before happen as well, is somebody will say that a piece of land is something that it isn't. Uh, for instance, and I'm just pulling this one out of the air, they'll say, you know, this is Disneyland entrance. But then when you click on the tile, you go and view it. It's just off in the middle of nowhere. It doesn't seem to be pertaining to anything. So just don't take those titles or for you to edit and for your personal reference, you know, so that when you're looking through your profile, you know where the land is and what it is. You can try to sell it and market it that way. But the reality is you have to do your own research, do your own due diligence on where the property is, what class it is and how much it's worth. And so just like an investment or just like an investment property, there's scammers out there. They're going to find their way into the game and we need to do what we can do to protect ourselves and protect each other. Okay, so if you do decide that you want to buy some land, I have a code, a coupon code for 5% off down in the description. I also have a link to a, uh, to a Facebook group and I'm there if you want to answer any, if you want to ask questions and I post throughout the day occasionally, hopefully everybody will start interacting and we can help each other out and strategize and uh, subscribe to the channel for more Earth 2 content. Thank you very much.